The Killbuck Savings Bank proudly sponsors the Mount Vernon News Game of the Week. Serving you better with offices in Apple Valley and Danville, Killbuck Savings Bank specializes in community banking. It's what we do. It's who we are. Every single day. It's East Knox and Crestview on the opening night of the Ohio High School football playoffs. The Bulldogs and Cougars meet in the Killbuck Savings Bank Game of the Week. Things didn't start on the good foot for the Bulldogs, and on their first possession would go three and out. Cougars running back Sage Beath would drag the East Knox defenders. The Cougars kept to a ground game, but the Bulldog defense was toughening up. The Cougars would get the first points on the night with this touchdown pass as Ross Kuhn finds Evan Hamilton. East Knox would feed the ball to Caleb Gowitz, who led all rushers on 213 yards on 27 carries, and he had four receptions for 88 yards. The defense was there, stuffing Baith for a loss on the play. Getting the ball back, Caden Lester hits Gage Steinmetz, but East Knox would go three and out. It's Steinmetz with a monster hit. East Knox would have their field goal attempt blocked. Cougars march the field. Shane Nett picks up a huge interception, stopping their drive. On the next play, it's Gowitz going 84 yards for the touchdown. Cougars would go three and out, and the Bulldogs drive the ball, but Galwitz is stopped short of the goal. On the next play, Weston Mielek fumbles the ball, going into the end zone, and Crestview gets the ball back, but cannot capitalize. East Knox drives the field to start the fourth quarter, and again, Galowitz is stopped short. But on the next play, the offensive line up front gives them a hole to walk into the end zone. On the ensuing kickoff, the Cougars score, but the Bulldogs are able to block the point after attempt. Crestview would drive the length of the field, setting them up for a field goal attempt with less than three seconds left. The kick hooks left, and East Knox defeats Crestview 21-20. From Howard, this is Joshua Morrison for MountVernonNews.com.